Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this lecture, we will see the example one. This is basically example from chapter two of uh, Dr. Zayed Ahmed Siddiqui book, and from that book, it is example two point one. So example two point one is a rectangular beam of size two fifty into 650 mm with effective depth equals to 590 mm is reinforced with three number 25 us customary bar c28 concrete and grade 420 steel are to be used determine the stresses at the top bottom and level of reinforcement caused by bending moment of 50 kN meter the member is within its elastic range so we have example here uh, let me draw the cross section let's say we have a beam of this cross section and let's say this dimension is 650 and this dimension is 200 50 mm now three reinforcement bar here one is here second is here and third is here these three reinforcement bar let's say a uh, size of that reinforcement bar is 25 mm are placed at the bottom c28 concrete meaning to that fc dash for that particular case is 28 mega pascal now grade 420 grade 420 meaning to that fy we need to assume is basically 420 mega pascal now what we need to find out we need to find out stress at the top level here we need to find out the stress at the top level and here at the bottom level we need to find out and at the level of reinforcement this is the level of reinforcement here we need to find out the stress level at the top which is this at the bottom and at the level of reinforcement we need to find out the stresses now first thing is we need to calculate area of steel area of one bar of number 25 is actually 510 mm square so we have three number of bars so 510 needs to be multiplied by 3 this 3 is actually we have three number of bars available at the bottom this 510 is basically area of one rebar so if we multiply that 3 with 510 we will get 1530 mm square area of steel available at the bottom modulus of elasticity of steel that is basically 200 gigapascal or 200000 megapascal fc dash it is 28 mega pascal now first thing is we need to calculate ec ec we know that that is equals to 47 4700 into under root fc dash if we plug that value we will get the value of ec now modular ratio modular ratio is modulus of elasticity of steel divided by modulus of elasticity of concrete so if we plug the values we will get around 8 additional steel area is equals to n minus 1 into as so if we plug the value of n if we plug the value of as we will get 10710 mm square 
so this one is basically uncracked transform section so uncracked transform section we know that we have width of the beam equals to 250 now height is basically 650 and effective depth with the distance from the centroid of the reinforcement to the top compression phase that is given which is 590 so first thing is we need to find out the distance of the neutral axis so distance of the neutral axis is basically from this point to the top compression phase how we can get that y bar that is basically from the usual method if we want to calculate centroid we know that y bar is equals to a1 y1 plus we know that that is a2 y2 and divided by a1 plus a2 this is the usual way of calculating the centroid so this whole 250 into 650 we can take as a1 and this portion this extended portion that we can consider as a2 so if we just plug the value 250 into 650 that is a1 y1 is basically half of that 650 plus a2 y2 this a2 how we calculate it this a2 we got n minus 1 into as that a2 n minus 1 into as we previously have calculated that and its centroid distance to the top surface which is basically 590 in calculating that centroid we are considering that plane as a reference plane divided by total area a1 plus a2 so y bar we are getting that is equals to 641 millimeter now we need to calculate i which is moment of inertia again moment of inertia is bh cube by 12 plus a r square r square is actually distance from centroid of individual section to the neutral axis so 250 into 650 cube by 12 plus a1 which is 250 into 650 into r square r square as i said it is the distance from individual centroid to the neutral axis so it will be actually 341 minus uh, 325 plus bh cube by 12 for that extended portion if we assume 1 millimeter here and 1 millimeter here that is actually very small value that's why we ignored it plus a r square a we know that that is n minus 1 into as and r square is distance from that centroid to that neutral axis so it will be 590 minus 341 which is equals to 249 so we will get i is equals to basically 642 in 642 700 into 10 to raise power 4 millimeter 4 now we need to calculate stress at the top stress at the bottom and stress at the reinforcement level so stress at the top we know that flexile stress is m y over i m we have given that is 50 kilonewton meter so we convert it into newton meter by multiplying into basically 10 to raise power 6 so basically we are converting newton into millimeters so multiply by 341 y distance which is this one from here to this one divided by i which we have just calculated so we will get stress at the top 2.65 megapascal in compression now we need to calculate stress at the bottom at that portion so same we have m y over i this is m which is given 
y is distance from that to up till here which is 309 if we deduct 650 from 341 we will get 309 divided by i so we will get 2.40 megapascal now stress at the reinforcement level this is the reinforcement level so we need to calculate stress at that point so it is fs is actually equals to n right n is modular ratio multiplied by m y over i so that will be 8 this is moment y y is distance from here to up till that point so it will be 650 uh, sorry uh, 590 minus 341 divided by i so we will get equals to f at the level of steel equals to 15.50 megapascal now if we calculated fr which is modulus of rupture it is 0.5 times under root fc dash which is equals to 2.65 megapascal if we see stress in this steel level it is basically 15.50 this value is very less than the yield strength yield strength is basically equals to 420 megapascal so we can say that our steel is basically in the yielding stage and secondly stress at the bottom level that is basically 2.40 megapascal which is actually less than fr value which is modulus of rupture meaning to that our concrete is also in elastic range so our stress in the steel is less than yielding our bottom stress in the concrete is less than modulus of rupture if these two conditions are met meaning to that we are in elastic range uh, this conclude example 2.1 from Zayda Masdiki book in that example we have seen that how we can solve the question for uncracked transform section kindly go through that calculation again and ask me question if you have thanks